Well, good Saturday morning, everybody. It's just the uh, 29th of May. I don't fucking know. I never know what the fuck what date it is. I don't give a shit. Um, once again, we're working on this driveway project. So here's the deal. It's nice today. 60, mid-60s. Sunny. Mostly clear. Um, I should be doing field work, but... Tomorrow looks like spotty showers, so I can ride out a fucking rain shower in a tractor better than I can with the fucking welder and the generator and uh, all the equipment down at the end of the driveway trying to get this fucking thing done. So I need to get this project done. The fucking gates down there are getting a little worse for wear. Um, and uh, get those fucking gates out of my shop, get them where they're supposed to be. It's another project that's needs to get done ahead of the party in, in July anyway so just dedicating the day to getting that done and then we'll get um, all the equipment ready to go for tomorrow and tomorrow I'll be fucking hitting her hard with the disc and getting her done um, so I, yeah that's my plan let's get to this thing I did a little grinding here um, just cleaned up some of the old welds I'm not going to cut that fucking fish plate off you can see that fish plate I'm not cutting that off piss on it I don't care if you don't like it uh, I do need to dress up that weld right there a little bit but we cleaned up that stuff we zing zang those welds off so once we throw a little paint over it it'll be fine uh, so we need to put our hangers on we got this piece of flat strap I'm gonna bend up some hangers here for it we got that flat strap that should be more than sufficient to hang that I can I can pretty near lift that beam if I need to. I'm guessing it weighs 200, uh, between 2 and 250, I guess. 12 inch I beam, 20 foot long. It's not, it's not a fucking heavy piece. It's only 8 inch steel, so it's just, uh, it's going to look appropriate with the gates, so that's why we're using it. And it's going to make a good cross piece, so. Yeah, we're going to make some hangers for this. Then I'll kind of give you the rundown of my plan, and then we'll see if we can fucking execute or not. So, yeah, I'll bring you back here. Let me get these bent up, zing-zanged, and uh, I'll show you what the fuck we got going on. All right, well, you can see the hooks welded on the end there. And down there. And I welded a bracket on there, uh, and on the middle of the beam there, so you can pin the chain to it. I got fucking hydraulic leak small and dripping a little bit. We'll have to fix that when we get back up there. That fitting right there uh, is either cracked or needs a little more uh, plumbing or tape or some damn thing. I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. Just fucking dripping perfectly on the thumb, the pin for the thumb. So I guess I don't have to grease that one next time. Yeah, so we got this... Uh, we're tracking down the, walking the excavator down here. And we're gonna get the beam set off to the side. And we have uh, a bunch of stuff to clean up down here. Then we'll go back and get the rest of the equipment. Squeaky undercarriage. I wish they made that greasable, but I don't know the practicality of that either. So I'm sure it's gonna need uh we're gonna need to put some bearings in the undercarriage here before too long. I did them all a couple of years ago and I'm sure it's gonna need them again, so it is what it is. All right, well, I stopped for a little bit of lunch and a little bit of a break and uh, fuck, I didn't grab a beer. Well, piss. So we're gonna take the, I just took the extension ladder down there I brought back the irrigation pipe that uh, Randy Olson dropped off. Randy, appreciate you, buddy. Thank you very much. Fucking mint. That inch and a half will be perfect to fly off my fucking three inch uh, roll flat that I got right now and run two sprinkler heads. So if we get dry, I can do some serious fucking irrigation. I just got to order a, a splitter for it, but that'll be fucking no big deal. No big deal at all. Or make one. I can make one too. So we got the generator, and we got the fucking the old, the old stinking Lincoln. She's still cooking. Um, we're gonna run down, drop the 
whole fucking unit off the tractor and everything. And uh, we have to go back and get the truck and the trailer and cut a few pieces for the for the gates themselves. I might have to uh, commission some help when it comes to getting the gates up in place. We'll see. I gotta get the crossbar, uh, the I beam across the top first, and then we'll figure it out from there. So it's about two o'clock in the afternoon right now. I spent the morning running, doing fucking errands, and getting feed and seed and all that. And we're currently fucking feed store is currently out of most of the fucking seed because. Well, you can't get that shit either, like half the other fucking crap around here, so. I also stocked up on, I hoarded some more Baylor twine, because they fucking had it, so. You know. Better to fucking have it and not need it than need it and not have it, so. One of them things. So I'm going to toodle on down here, we'll drop this off, and then we'll go back to the fucking farm and uh, grab the DDDD uh, truck and the trailer and... Um, I cut those pieces. I see about loading those gates. Maybe I'll go see if I can get somebody to help me load those gates. Throw the jacks in the truck. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, I'll fucking figure it out. We gotta. I gotta do a little fucking figure in here and see if I can find a little muscle to help me lift some shit around, and then I'll bring it back here in a little bit.
We don't quite make it. We got to shorten the chain up a little bit. <sighs> or we need to make it so that chain will stay on that tooth. Alright, so we gotta go to plan B because I can't quite get the excavator to reach high enough. I'm about mm, that much too short. So that's why I have the trailer here. And uh, we're gonna back the fucking excavator onto the trailer. So we're working that direction away from the truck and uh, use that to gain our extra height. So we'll get her on there and bring it back and see what I can do. Ah, uh, we're close. We are close. Um, I think. Oh yeah, we got plenty of lift. That side's over so we're gonna try to get that side hooked first maybe or maybe we'll go hook that side because ladder's there and that one's damn near there okay so um, oh mosquitoes are back that's nice I don't have my bug spray down here either. I'm going to use this to push on that a little bit because I don't want to stand on the very top of that ladder to reach it. So. I'm sure the ladder's mostly fine. Mostly. Oh, and I'm filming with one hand, so that's good. You know, safety first. All that stuff. Won't be my first spell off the ladder. Hold on. Hold on. We might see that. She's <laughs> ah, it's just about there. Um, it's, the hooks are almost engaged there. I really don't want to climb up that far though. Ladder's got a pretty good to it. So. I'm going to see if that one will snap in there by itself. I'm going to concentrate on this one over here. We're going to track forward just a little bit with the excavator. There's one end. Okay, so... What I don't want to do is get the ladder over here to push up. So that way that hook hooks more. Try to get that one started. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to put you down now because it's been way too long. <laughs> 